The country that manages its fisheries best is, without doubt, the United States of America. Um, they have a, a law, um, it's called uh, the Stephen Magnuson Act, that uh, mandates, that obliges you to rebuild the stock if they are overfished. And this law is well-funded, and this law is um, obligatory. You must follow it. And uh, since uh, about 15 years, they, there is a rebuilding of the stocks that they control. And uh, so you could say in, in, the, uh, in the 80s, they were not doing a good job. But uh, since then, they, they are rebuilding the, the fisheries. Uh, in Europe, um, this uh, example has been followed and legislation has been, pla uh, that's been, has been passed by the European Parliament to rebuild the stocks. Um, Norway is also doing a good job, has also rebuilt its stocks and has um, forbidden the discarding of fish. The discarding of fish, it is so, fr so frequent in fisheries, for example in shrimp fisheries, they have completely gotten rid of it. Also, Australia, I'm coming just, uh, I was in Australia about a month ago. They're doing a good job at uh, um, keeping each of their stock in, in, in relatively good shape. Uh, it is also there in a law that you must uh, maximize economic yield from the, from the fisheries and that they are not subsidized. So there are a few countries that are doing very well and uh, because they have legislation and research and implement this, and a few countries that are doing very badly.